Hello there, boys and girls, and welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm your host, Rob Shaw. We're talking fantasy football. Obviously, the big news yesterday, Tom Brady out for the season. Matt Castle will start in his place, but there are some other injuries that I should catch you up to speed on, and that's why we have our news and notes. We'll continue at the quarterback position, where Vince Young also is going to be out for a couple of weeks. Two to four, they're saying. We'll have a better idea later today once the MRI does come back. On that note, Kerry Collins does come in. He'll start for the next couple of weeks, which actually means better numbers expected from the receiving game. This is more of a pocket passer, so Bo Scape and Justin Gage both see their value move up. Another quarterback out, Brody Croyle, but not a big deal there in Kansas City because Damon Heward is a capable backup. And on that note, Dwayne Bowe and Tony Gonzalez maintain their value, but still expect a healthy diet of carries from Larry Johnson. Now let's take a look at some of the running backs. We'll start in Houston. Amon Green once again gets injured, this time a sprained ankle. We're not sure how long he's going to be out, but Steve Slayton, the rookie, get to know him. He'll continue to get the majority of the carries for that team. In fact, he might get as many as 20 to 25. That is a guy with some fantasy value. Also, Maurice Morris with the Seattle Seahawks. Oh boy, lots of news with this team. More on them in a little bit. But as far as the running game goes, Julius Jones, the guy they brought in from Dallas, is expected to have big numbers for the next couple of weeks because Morris is out. They were splitting carries. Not anymore. A bum knee keeps Morris off the field. Julius Jones expected to get 20, 25 carries. That could mean as many as 100 plus yards. All right, let's talk about the wide receivers. Some bad news in St. Louis. Drew Bennett, the guy who's expected to be the number two receiver for that team with Ike Bruce now playing in San Francisco. Well, he's out for four to six weeks with a fractured foot, so some they're going to have to look for some other options, but there aren't too many there. And on that note, I have to say, Mark Bolger's numbers are expected to go down. Maybe Randy McMichael continues to step up, but I'll tell you, the Rams did not look good this past weekend, and so far we can't expect much more from the next couple of weeks unless Steven Jackson truly steps up. And also in Seattle, big news here, Nate Burleson expected to have a huge season is out for the season. Instead, he tore his ACL. This is bad news for a team that always got Bobby Ingram, Ingram I should say, out until at least October. And Dion Branch, who really knows when he's going to finally play. So what to make of this? I wish I had names to give you. The only one I could throw at you right now, Seneca Wallace, backup quarterback. He might be starting at wide receiver for this team. Things are not looking good. Matt Hasselbeck, it's time to start looking for other quarterback options in fantasy land because I don't see who he's going to throw the ball to. Again, the Seattle Seahawks really struggling. They are de devastated so far this season because of injuries. Well, my friends, that's all the news and notes for now. If we have any more, I promise we'll feature them right here at opensports.com. Until tomorrow, that's it's a Shaw thing. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.